Hi everybody, it's me, Miss Sarah. Happy Memorial Day. And welcome to Denver Parks and Recreation's online virtual programming, and this is Preschool Play. As always, this is a great class for anybody with young ones. So from age zero to four, I always try to do something for everybody. And I hope you're all ready to get started on this wonderful holiday morning. So the first thing that we always have to do is our hello song. Do you guys remember our hello song? So I'm gonna go ahead and sing it and then we'll sign it, okay? <clears throat> so it goes, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Now, do you guys remember how to sign it? <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and try together. Are you ready? So we say, hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Good job, everybody. Round of applause. All right, as always, I wanna do my signs of the day, and I have two special ones, and these are a lot more fun for maybe our older kids, or if you have any toddlers who can't fully talk yet and they wanna communicate, especially if you have any pets. So we're gonna learn cat and dog, okay? So how many of you have a kitty cat? How many? That's a lot of you guys. Okay, so when we wanna say cat, we're gonna go ahead. Can you put your fingers up like that? You see like this, kind of like a bird? And we're just gonna go to our nose and go, like, like kitty cat whiskers, right? Because kitty cats have whiskers. So this is cat. You wanna try it with me? Cat, cat. Can you do it? Good job, cat. And the other one we have is dog. Now there's two ways to do dog, and the one that we're gonna learn is this way, because it's just a little bit easier for younger ones. Dog. So, it's like I'm petting a dog. So, dog. Dog. Can I see you do dog? Great! Let's try it again. So ready? So we have cat and dog, cat, and dog. Good job, friends, round of applause. You guys are doing so good. Do you wanna sing some songs? Okay, I have some fun ones, okay? Are you ready? So here's our first one. Swish, 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 sw
good job, good job. I love it. Okay, so I thought that now that we're all warmed up and we're awake for the day, we could read one of my favorite stories, A Chicka Chicka. All right, Chicka Chicka, one, two, three. You just wanna read it with me? Okay. Here we go. I hope you guys are pretty good at counting, okay? All right. One told two and two told three. I'll race you to the top of the apple tree. Have any of you guys ever seen a real apple tree in real life? Climb said four to five and six. Bright little numbers that join the mix. Hurry, yells seven to number eight. Slow poke fellow who's always late. Chicka chicka one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Look at all those numbers. Here comes nine to the apple tree. Next comes 10 and then 11. Wow, these apples taste like heaven. Chicka chicka one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? I wonder how high we're gonna count today. <gasps> Hot pink 12, lucky 13, picking apples red and green. 14 and 15, can't you see? They all want to climb the apple tree. Chicka chicka one, two, three, will there be a place for me? Oh my gosh, so many numbers up the apple tree right now. 16's next to make the scene, climbing branches with 17. 18, 19, one more 20. Numbers, numbers, there are plenty. Do we know this part yet? Can we say it together? Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Oh my gosh, there's more numbers. Curvy, 30. Flat foot, 40. Climbing up to join the party. 50's fine and 60's dandy. 70s hair is long and sandy. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember the next part? Let's say it together. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three, will there be a place for me? Let's climb more, say treetop 80, higher, higher, up to 90, until at last there's 99, and all the numbers are feeling fine. Except for zero. Who begins to cry? Chicka chicka one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Like a little zero down there. Will there be a place for zero? Let's find out. <gasps> oh no, buzzing close, bumbles, bees. Zero hides behind the trees. Get out of our tree, the bumblebees shout, and all the numbers tumble out. Look, they're all falling out. Ah! <clears throat> 90, 80, 70 fall, hit the ground in a free for all. Oh my gosh. 60, 50, 40 run, no more climbing, no more fun. 30 next, then sweet little 20. Numbers, numbers, no longer plenty. 19 and 18, my oh my, frightened numbers jump and fly. 17, 16, 15 more. Now 14 has hit the floor. And 13 2, unlucky guy. 12 had almost touched the sky. Have you ever been in a tall tree before? Hopefully safe playing with your parents, right? Bent up 11, wait, where's 10? 9, 8, 7, follow then. Twisted 6 and top hat 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, take a dive. Ah! Chicka chicka one, two, three. Now I know the place for me. Mm, zero seems like he's got a plan. <gasps> zero leaps into the sky. Brave little number. He's not shy. Oh my gosh, he's jumping high. He's above the bumblebees. He jumps so high. 
Zero lands on top of the tree, joins with 10. Now 100, you see. Chicka chicka, one, two, three. Here's the place just for me. All of the numbers come back out higher and higher, higher and higher as they shout. Chicka chicka, one, two, three, zero's the hero of the tree. Look at that, look at all those numbers. The end, look at that. That's a lot of numbers. How high can you count to? That's pretty cool. Thanks for reading that story with me. All right, so I thought now that we could do a fun craft, okay? So this is gonna be really fun. This is a really great project here, marble paint. You may have heard it before, but honestly, it's really simple and really easy to do. And I like this one because honestly, you could probably do this project the second a child is able to move their hands. So even uh, six months can handle this. And it's, it's a lot of fun. So the supplies you're gonna need is you're gonna need some paint in different colors. What kind of paint is up to you? I am just gonna use some um, tempera paint because it's washable, it's safe, and it's a little bit runnier than something like acrylic. She's wanna shake, 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 shake. Makes it all ready. I just picked two colors right here. Of course, you're gonna need paper, construction paper, big paper, whatever paper. I'm just gonna use basic computer paper. And of course, you're gonna need something like this. I have like a marble right here. Um, you can also use a bead or if you have like maybe a piece of old jewelry that's got like a pearl or a piece like that, like plastic uh, costume jewelry. Um, you can just get these at the dollar store. You can get these anywhere. If you, maybe you have Kerplunk at home and you could just borrow one marble from your game. So really don't stress too much about needing to have the exact item. As long as it can roll, you're gonna be okay. And same thing, I'm gonna be using just a baking sheet, but a shoebox lid, any kind of cardboard box, anything where you can place the paper and the marble inside. I like to use the baking sheet because it's a pretty common thing a lot of people have, so you can kind of see how to work with it because not everybody might have like a box with a lid on it, okay? So, we kind of know how this goes if you've seen it before. I'm gonna go ahead, take one piece of paper, just gonna go ahead and place it in my pan, okay? And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm gonna take my paint, and I'm just gonna do a couple different drops. So let's see. I'm gonna put, ooh, a little bit here. Let's see here, let's just do a little bit this here. All right, and I'm gonna do a little bit yellow. Now you don't have to do more than one color, I just like doing one more than one color because it's fun for the kids. Also, you don't. You can have one marble, you can have six marbles. Beads, whatever you're using, okay? So it does get a little messy, so keep that in mind. I'm already gonna roll up my sleeves. I got my paint right here, okay? I'm gonna take my marble. I'm just gonna let that roll. Now it's important, the reason why I chose the uh, tempera paint is because I'm gonna start getting paint all over this cooking pan because my paper is not as big. And uh, I wanna make sure that whatever I put on here next isn't gonna get cooked with paint in it. So using the washable paint. Now this is a lot of fun. If you look, I'm just moving the marble around. Do you see that? You wanna make sure that your marble doesn't escape your cooking pan. I'm just turning it so you can kind of see it. But I'm just gonna go, and this is why I say it's really fun for even six month old babies, because if you have a box with a lid high enough, they can just sit there and move it. You can help them. This is something really cool that older siblings can do with younger siblings or cousins or neighbors. You know, this is a, another manageable project that an older kid can handle, as long as they don't lose the marble. Now I may put a little bit too much paint on my paper because I was just so excited, and that's okay. But, we start to look now, we start to get a fun little pattern like that, all right? Also, you could always even put that aside, put on a brand new piece of paper, okay? And then just put that marble on and just let the marble, the marble look at that. So there's different ways you can do this, whatever is easiest for you. 
You wanna make sure you leave them out to dry, lay on some paper towel, but just a couple things put together and your child can have a really good, fun, sensory art craft project. So I, hopefully you guys will get to do that today on this holiday. All right, so that's it. We have a shorter class today. It's a lovely holiday and I don't wanna keep anybody from the beautiful sunshine, okay? So I wanna go ahead and sing our goodbye song and then we can sign our goodbye song. Do you remember our goodbye song, friends? It's okay if you don't. I'll sing it first and then we can sing it and sign it together, okay? So it goes, goodbye for now, we'll see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Goodbye for now, we'll see you soon on another day. Are you ready to sign it? Goodbye for now, we'll see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Goodbye for now, we'll see you soon on another day. All right, goodbye friends, goodbye. Oh, and I wanna remind everybody that we're gonna be having programming for arts and culture this week. I wanna remind everybody to make sure that you go to our website, denvergov.org forward slash recreation. So you can check out all of our programming. Of course, you can check out our programming here on Facebook and you can check it out on Instagram. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Happy Memorial Day. Stay, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Bye.